Hey everyone, so I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Um, we've been focusing on, honestly, we've been taking a bit of time um, off. So we spent July kind of sailing around and having a bit of fun. And then we decided to get the heads down and try and get a bit of work done. So we've been focusing on getting things things done so that when we put up a video, it's not just going to be me opening boxes. Um, so in this week's episode, we're going to start working on the forward cabin, get some of the chart table done and the saloon painted. We were going to start doing the head soon, but we kind of decided we wanted our forward cabin to be done. I uh, did a little bit of panelling in the aft cabin, you might be able to see. Um, we'll cover all that in this episode. Now, this episode might seem a little bit kind of all over the place. I lost loads of footage. Um, my hard drive crashed and I lost a load of footage. And uh, anything we did have, I kind of put together to, and tried to make it link up together. But um, if there's any kind of open questions, just feel free to leave a comment. Um, because I might have missed a few things by losing footage. So yeah, let's crack on. We'll get some chart table work done, some painting done, some paneling done, and just keep going. So now that we've got the kitchen kind of, uh, well, the galley, kind of workable. So it's, you know, it's nice. We've got the, well, I have my cooker on top of the cooker because I haven't got gas run, and I want to get somebody's a professional opinion on running the gas lines because I don't want to blow the boat up. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of a door here as well. Um, bit of food in there, plates. So, you know, the galley works now, so I think I'm gonna move on a bit and we're gonna start working on the chart table. So you can see that I've got, I just made this standard frame. So we're gonna follow the um, plans you can see here that I've been doing. And we just made a frame and we're gonna run the frame back to the wall up here or up to the hull. And then <clears throat> basically what we'll do is we'll use this frame as the um, kind of there'll be a cupboard here where my batteries can go inside in there so I'm gonna hopefully fit about three batteries in there if they fit and then um, we're gonna put these beams across there and fix them at the back there and then what I'll use is um, the bottom of the chart table um, cabinet or sorry the top of the cabinet which will be the bottom of like the drawer for the charts will form the bottom of the cabinetry up here so we're gonna bring it straight back and over and then we'll build the the we'll build the um cabinetry and then we'll build the chart table on top of that there'll be nice kind of um curvy bit of plywood here as well with some trim on it as well with hand hand holds um yeah it'll all come to it'll all uh, make sense when i'm actually doing it but i'm going to crack on and i'm going to try and get this frame at least kind of built and see how it's looking So I've built that in a frame. So now the frame is in, the top is in, nothing really too special about that. I just had to make that template um, and then scribe it to the hull. Obviously it's not, um, it's not a straight edge. So that's a curved edge from the hull. So I just scraped, uh, scribed that and then cut around for the thing. Um, I'm getting a lot quicker at doing this. This takes a lot less time than it would have, like say when we were doing the bunk, um, but yeah, this, this is going nice. So then obviously I put the side on and I've paneled it. So I mean, you guys have seen me doing so much paddling now. Um, I didn't want to bore the shite out of you. Um, the floor is meeting it as well. So yeah, it's looking quite nice. So the plan then is to have, obviously the front will go on next. We made that template um, paneled the same way as this, um, which is a nice kind of a thick, kind of nice thick, um, profile to this and then there'll be a handrail that goes around so this will be curved and there'll be a nice handrail that goes on there um, for grabbing onto and probably some holes along here to get your hand into um, so then next job will be to close that in get the batteries in there we'll go in there panel this bit because that will be visible and then there'll be a seat to go here as well um, I have to actually I think I'm gonna have to extend that bulkhead a bit to add the seat which will make the doorway a little bit narrower but I think there's room I haven't figured that out yet but that's We'll forget about that for now. So basically what I gotta do next is cut this, sorry about the noise, cut this bit of um, timber here and that fits nicely in there. And then what we'll do is we'll fit that and then there'll be like a piece of ply that will fit into that. You see that line here? So that line there, the ply will sit into that on cleats all the way around. And that will basically close that in as a cabinet. So then we'll divide that cabinet in two and then there'll be a, a bookshelf, two bookshelves here, and then there'll be the um, 
electrical cabinet here so I've got a nice bit of kind of um it's not really a conduit it's more of like a trunking to go there where all the wires will come out nice and tidy and then there'll be uh move this there'll be all of my electrical stuff in basically there and in and in there and down at the bottom so we'll be able to open that cabinet and all of the electrical a lot of the electrical stuff will be in there like charge controllers um inverter and all of my buzz bars and uh terminals so very excited about getting this done because it means i can come in and turn things on without plugging things into an electrical stupid extension lead but yeah i mean look that you can really start let's have a look actually from outside so as you come now down through the companionway which is still not finished the galley to the port side which is looking really nice nice door and then we've got the uh chart table on the starboard side so this is this is looking really nice the floor is there there's a floor in there and if you look at like to cover that bit there and cover that door opening there it looks like a boat obviously we need to finish it but, you know so i'll crack on getting this done um things are coming together we'll crack on get this done um i'm kind of done here for a little while get the electrical cabinet in bookshelf close that all up and tidy it up um and i've got a guy making all the trim so Hopefully in the next maybe six months, this will all be like this section to the forward bulkhead will be done and we can uh, start focusing on the heads. So as you can see, we made a bit of a template. So sorry for the bright sun, it's coming in through the hatch and there's a very, 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 very windy day and all the lines are screeching and yeah, anyway. Um, so I've made this template here and what I'm gonna do I'm going to take that out and I'm going to mark it on a bit of plywood and then that will um, form the front of the of the chart table and then we've got the side here which we cut a little while ago and then that will fit on here and then the uh, chart table top will go on top and then fill our um, cabinets. I'm really sorry about that screeching, that screeching, it's driving me bananas but I tried to fix it but yeah, anyway. So we've got the front panel on and the side panel. So they look pretty good, um, pretty strong as well. There's a nice space. When we put the top on, there's a really nice kind of a working area. There's enough room for a really nice deep cabinet as well with bookshelf and, and stuff like that. So that's uh, that's looking really good and I'm, I'm really happy with it. So I think the next thing will be to cut the hole here for the door so then, and make a door. Um, we've made the bottom for the inside the cabinet. So there'll be a bottom that goes in there. Um, that's where my batteries will go. And we'll be able to lift that out as well to get access to the to the hull and all that kind of stuff. So um, if we open this up now, we'll have a, a nice door and a shelf to go in there as well. So. Um, I think that's the next thing to do. So I'm just fitting these cleats. Um, so these, what these will do is allow me to put on the front face of the cabinet. Um, so there'll be, you know, a screw every kind of eight inches but um or even six inches and i didn't want to put a strip all the way along because i think it's a waste of wood but basically yeah these are all little bits that i found around the boat that i've just made my nice cleats out of and then they're screwed from the bottom um and then this piece of timber there will be there'll be a divider here um for the electrical cabinet so it'll be nice i'll put the divider in now before we put in the uh, front divider in here with a shelf so i'll put the shelf in there as well I'm um, hoping to do all that today if I have enough wood because I'm kind of uh, going through the boat and trying to find bits of timber that I have left over and stuff like that because I keep finding that I've got loads and loads and loads and loads of offcuts and no jobs for them so I've decided now that I'm going to try and use every bit of wood that I have before buying more but anyway that's besides the point um, so yeah I'm going to continue on with this try and get the divider in there's another piece of timber just to go here for the cladding I forgot to do and then we'll we'll be able to start um, doing out the electrical stuff. So yeah, this is a, 
It's coming along really well. The door looks good, the shelves look good. Everything's starting to come together. So we made that uh, nice rough template to go into um, into there, and we've just marked it out on this bit of um, <clears throat> bit of plywood I have left over from some of my cabinets. So we're just going to use this to make that divider, uh, and then we can make a shelf to go in there for the books. Um, so yeah, basically we've just drawn out the, the shape. There's the kind of a bit of a curve to the hall, and then it's kind of straight, straight and square. So um, yeah, we'll cut that out, and then we'll try and see if it slots in. So that's what the dividing shelf is going to look like. Um, it fits in there pretty well. It needs to be kind of screwed in. Um, it's only in there, just sitting in there at the moment. But you know, the gap isn't too bad all the way down the back, um, and the gap at the front isn't too bad either. Um, there's a little bit of a gap at the top, but that's okay because I'm actually going to build the cabinet and then put the top in, uh, or not the top. Sorry, the yeah, sorry, the the ceiling, the overhead in inside the cabinets um, after they're built. So. I can take those out whenever I want, but um, it's looking alright. Probably build a shelf there now so we can have two bookshelves and um, yeah, we can move on then to getting the front done. So I'm just using this, uh, it's called a fish wire. So basically it's a piece of um, kind of coated wire and on the end of it, there's a little hook. I'll show you the hook in a sec. And you put a wire through it and tape it up and it gives you a really good, strong pull on the wire. Um, so I've run all the wires now for the, so this conduit is going, so both these conduits run the length of the boat with a junction box halfway through. So there's four in each one. So there's about, you can see there it's about a, be a 40 percent um fill so i probably could fit one more through there but i don't think it's going to be necessary um so basically all the nav lights and, and stuff like that run back to this um <clears throat> this terminal block so all the terminal block is i've just labeled them and each wire is labeled obviously as well so um each circuit will come back to the breaker block and then it will go on to the circuit panel or the, the breaker panel um and the breaker pattern will run onto the terminal block. So yeah, all the loads are running back to this trunking through, and then they come out really tidy at the bottom. So if you imagine that covered, they come out really tidy. Um, so yeah, I've run the wires now for all the nav lights and the cabin lights from the forward end of the boat, so from the mid midships forward. Um, and it's coming through the conduit really nice. And yeah, so that basically, this, this fish line pulls those wires through and it's coming through super smooth. Um, really, really nice. I'm really happy with how this conduit turned out. So yeah, we'll uh, keep pulling wires and wiring and uh, finish this job. So I've put these, I mean, these are a little bit too short because they're eight foot. Um, so I'm gonna need to put another piece there and another piece there. But that's basically what we're going for is that frame. And then if you look, I'll try and get a bit further away. So the plan is to put a headliner panel here up to this knee. 
so it'll be like half there back and then it'll cover come into there so that'll be one panel and then the same on the other side and then this will be a second panel and then the same on the other side so there'll be four panels um so the plan is to make the templates at some point i won't do it today because i'm kind of out of plywood anyway so i'm just going to try and get these done but make the templates make the part and then just put them in um and then when they fit take them out paint the back sides and put them up so that's basically how it's going to look everywhere so it's going to like flow back into the coach roof there as well around the windows um, and we've already nearly finished the paneling here a few small places to finish off but um yeah this saloon area is really coming together um the chart tables come together the galley could do with a bit more but the aft section is really driving me mad at the moment i'd love to have the heads done um but there's a huge amount of work to do in the heads and i need to like drill the seacocks and stuff and then there's the aft cabin that i haven't fully decided on but there's also the fore cabin um, I'm not too worried about the full cabin. I think it's going to come together quicker because there's a lot less going on in the full cabin. It's mainly just like storage and a chain locker. Um, but anyway, I'm going to crack on and try not to think about the massive amounts of work I've left to do and just do it bit by bit. Yeah. What are you doing? Painting. Oh, it looks good. It really uh, pulls it all together, doesn't it? First coat of many. Yeah, I've done a few coats, but I think the white was a good, good call, wasn't it? Yeah. I think the wood was too uh, was too much like a sauna. Look at that. And then you're, oh, you're painting the kitchen as well. Yeah. That's the job. Eve. Yeah. It's painting your hair. You're there? Yeah. You can't see it though because like it blends in with your hair colour. <laughs> Is it bad? No. It's not bad. <laughs> what have I done to you? Oh no, it's everywhere. Is it? Well, no. It'll come out because it's water based. Three coats. So two more. bigger rotor. So that's all I have time for in this episode. Um, it's amazing to think that this time around a year ago we were down in the boatyard in Baltimore and the boat was still a bare shell and there was no insulation, nothing at all except some sails and a hammock. Um, so it's really cool to see progress and see actual visual progress and be able to like sleep in here and like live in here now. Um, obviously there's a few amenities like bathroom and all that kind of stuff that haven't been done yet but yeah, things are getting better in here, definitely. So the next plan will be to um, get the chart table and the galley cabinetry done. Um, and I actually have a friend of mine who is a cabinet maker who's done quite a lot of work on boats um, in the past. And I'm going to let him do the cabinetry for the chart table and the galley. Now we'll try and follow as much of the work he's doing so that we can see how it's being built, especially when it's fitted in. Um, but it, him working on that means that I can start working on the four cabin. Because at the moment we're sleeping in the saloon, um, which is kind of annoying because like, yeah, it's not there's not a lot of room. So it'd be nice to have the four cabin done so we can actually have a bedroom again with storage of clothes. Because right now we're kind of just um, keeping my clothes in a bag on the other uh, bunk, which isn't ideal. So 
yeah, getting the four cabin done now is, is the next priority. Obviously a massive plus to having someone doing the galley and the chart table means that they'll be doing it in hardwood and it'll be a professional job rather than me putting it together in plywood and eventually down the line having to rip it out to redo it in hardwood. So um, it's going to be a little bit more costly than expected, but it's going to be a lot, it's going to be magnitude better than the plywood I was going to use. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that comes together. The, the boat's coming together in my mind a little bit differently as to what I expected I'd be able to do, which is better than what I expected. So um, that's that's a really big plus. So with that in mind, thanks, massive thanks to people that have been um, donating on Patreon and, and PayPal and, and anything like that. We really do appreciate that. It, it, it makes a huge difference to being able to buy um, kind of things like the verses and the the solar charge control and everything that I haven't gone through yet, but um, when time comes, I'll do a full electrical. Um, I'll do my just. I'll go through my basically my electrical designs and how I got to where I'm going to be going with the electrics. So, um, yeah, massive thanks to the people who've been helping out on Patreon because it does it does help to pay for the electrics and the electrics aren't cheap. So hopefully in the next episode we'll see progress in the four cabin and we'll see some progress in the chart table and the galley. Um, I'm aiming to have the chart table, the galley and the four cabin complete um, by the end of the year. So it's August now, middle of August now, um, which gives us the rest of August, September, October, November and December. So about four months. Um, and if you think about where the boat was three months ago, like that's not actually a crazy target. So um, yeah, if we keep the head down, I think we'll hit that. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll have an episode out in the next few weeks. Until then, uh, we'll see you. Bye. Oh,